and the players getting together for a little chat as we're just about ready to get going here. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. First for the Warriors, Steph Curry's out there with Klay Thompson. And in the middle, the long body JaVale McGee. Absolutely elastic. That's Durant, and it's Green in at the four slot. And looking at the Rockets, Patrick Beverly out there with Harden. And out of Brazil, one of the premier finishers in the game, a mobile and agile 6'11 man at the center position. It's Nene. Then it's Trevor Ariza. And it's Anderson in at the power forward. The Warriors were able to get back to the postseason for the first time since the We Believe season in 07 when they knocked off the Dallas Mavericks as an eight seed. They didn't finish above 500 on the road, but still were much better than previous years, which allowed them to get to the playoffs. Outside Curry. Makes the lead pass. The shot's good from McGee. You know, it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. I agree. It settles the team down offensively, and you establish success in the post. That forces the defense to make some adjustments. Well, back to that Warrior Road record that Clark was talking about, 19-22, as he said. But I remember an early road trip that, uh, you know, had them go 6-1. and one. Really helped them start to believe in themselves. Steve was a team last season. Yeah, that included that uh, buzzer-beating win against Miami on Draymond Green's shot. I mean, I think that's when this group really realized that they could make some noise and possibly be a playoff team. Anderson dishes to Nene. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. It's such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. And so here is Golden State. Thompson against Harden. Thompson passes to Curry. He feeds it to Durant. Shot clock at six. Golden State needs to get off the shot. Here's McGee. And there is the shot clock violation. Didn't get the shot off in time. About one minute into the first quarter. Harden with it. Picked up by Thompson. Come on, Harden, let's go. Harden kicks to Anderson. A three-pointer off the mark. And the Warriors with possession here. Durant defended by Beverly. Right side Durant. Back to Thompson. Pass to Curry. Golden State moving it around. The drive, three, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. This game going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a on. blowout, Kevin, Come or even on. a exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you know, frustrated Steve is on Well, I just, uh, you know what, Kevin? Come on, yeah, I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up. I mean, he threw it down with force. So it's the Rockets now. Following the score by Golden State. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Now McGee. Outside Green. Thompson outside. Let's the free fly. Peter. Oh, what a three at the horn. They end the quarter on a high note. What a big shot. I'll say that'll put a little bounce in their step coming back out of this break. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Warriors lead by seven. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Houston might have made the playoffs in the West last season, guys, but it wasn't because they were beating up on their peers. They were 24 and 28 against the rest of the West. That's why they got the eight seed. Here's Beverly. Outside Gordon. Rocket 
Hicks. Hicks. Hicks to Beverly. Outside of Gordon. There's the three. But the shot, no good. And Golden State will come the other way. You remember the Rockets last year when they were playing a lot of teams in the last year. They won the rest of the season. That was when they slipped, you know, Steve, out of the sixth seed range down to number eight. Well, of course, the West was really strong last year, Kevin, so it makes sense that you're going to struggle a little bit against all those good teams. But, uh, you know, Houston ended up being the only team in the West to make the playoffs with a sub-500 record against the rest of the conference. Here's Beverly. The Warriors making the shot. Knocks it down from seven feet. Well, it took a while, but somebody finally got a shot to go. You know, I was starting to get a little concerned for them. I mean, it hadn't been pretty to this point. Now, here's Curry. The dish to Thompson. Thompson off the pick from McGee. Thompson passes to McGee. The feminine touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. McGee's got his second bucket of the game to go. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. There's the screen. Gordon for three. That doesn't go either for Gordon. Boy, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. McGee dishes to Durant. Goes back up. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one's on Eric Gordon. The Warriors shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. That's good from Durant. Lou Williams has checked in for Eric Gordon. Durant hits them both. Well, as far as the league's big men go, he's one of the very best at the foul line. Here is Williams. Mark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. And there's the feed to Beverly. Back to Williams. The three. That is good. Williams has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And here is Green. Thompson for the triple. And no good trying to get that one. And we finished one half of basketball. Warriors ahead. They lead by eight. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Now, presented by Sprint. And it's been a great game out in Houston. Thanks for joining us. The Golden State Warriors are ahead against Houston. A nice job of sharing the rock, making plays for one another offensively. JaVel McGee has been the X factor. It's been anything but a high scoring game, but you got to love the contributions he's made to keep his team out front. A tough matchup, but the Rockets are staying afloat. The outside shot just not there for them today, but that certainly hasn't stopped them from trying. We might see some adjustments after the break. And that'll wrap things up for me here in the studio. Second half is just around the corner. Thanks so much for stopping by. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. Well, this Warriors ownership group has really energized the franchise. They've been very proactive. They purchased the D-League team from Dakota. It plans to move them to Santa Cruz, about an hour south of Oakland. And in order to accommodate the team's homeowners, they built a new 3,000-seat arena in a matter of months. But, you know, when they need a big three, he's the guy they look to. He's a guy that's reliable and deep for as he's going to fly. Also, guys, so often we see him playing possum at the defensive end. And then all of a sudden, he springs into action, picks off the pass, and ignites the pass break. It's his first trip to the line. Not the guy you want to see taking too many free throws. Last season, his numbers among the worst in the league. And we saw it last year, guys, because those numbers are so low. Teams weren't afraid to put him on the line, you know, where points were hard to come by for him. Here is Harden. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Harden, left side. 
D2 from Anderson. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And the Santa Cruz Warriors, as they've been renamed, have been a hit. You know, Clark leading the D-League in revenue, making the D-League finals last season. And you know, with all of the D-League games now broadcast on YouTube, the exposure for players in the D-League is better than ever. And for the Warriors to have their D-League affiliate so close by gives them a much better opportunity to develop their young talent. Here is Harden. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. On the strike, again the Rocket score. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. All right. Outside court. Soft touch off the glass. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. And the Rockets with possession here. Eight-point game. Wide open look. Here's Anderson. Just to finish it off. Oh, beauty. A high quality shot is almost always going to come off a rebound like that. And Clark, he is so good at working his way inside, holding off the defenders under the glass, and being in the right position. Knows how to use his body. Yeah, and I just like the way he consistently pursues the punt <laughs> Now, here's Curry. After the miss from McGee, he kicks to Durant. Hands on the trifecta. Durant's got seven points. Rockets have gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Poked away. Stolen by Thompson. He dishes it to Curry. Back to Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got four assists in the game. You know, the instant that steal was made, they were off and running the other way. Ball pressure, then a run out, see? That's perfection to me. Now you threaten the defense inside and then find the open man on the outside. Good offense. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Warriors lead by eight. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And the final period of play just about to start. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors. Well, the great passing we saw in the first half has carried right over into the second. Well, you've also got to love how aggressively they've taken that ball to the basket and scored off dribble penetration. Now here's Durant. And McGee kicks to Durant. Six to shoot. Curry passes to McGee. chase down the shooter and something else that comes to mind with him is how many guys he's given the post to treatment to i mean flying by the power one down while the defender stands there looking for mercy now here's curry after the miss from beverly curry gets to durant and he drops in the way up off the glass and the warriors lead by 13. They've been getting way too many high percentage looks close to the basket. And I'll tell you what, when they're getting them, they're converting. You know, the play in the paint, an aspect of this game that has gone entirely their way. Now here's Gordon. Pass to Beverly. And a foul on the shot. They'll go to the strike for two. You know, when you get an influx of talent through the draft like the Rockets did prior to last season, the initial reaction is excitement, but then you think about, man, how are we going to get these guys ready to play NBA basketball? And the Rockets did a nice job by taking it easy and bringing them along slowly. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And for the Rockets, you look at how that strategy worked out for them, and it was exactly what they needed. Got off to a quick start last year. As they toward the end, their rookies were fresh and able to contribute when it mattered most. You know, Kevin, it's hard for fans to see a player get drafted and not immediately see the floor, but a lot of times that's the best route. You know, you, you give a, a player time to adjust, you make him earn it, 
and by the end of the season, he can be a, a very effective player. I think uh, plenty of the Rockets players proved that uh, last season. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike D'Antoni was discussing with his players. He said, listen, we've come this far. Now we've got to lay it on the line to get a win. I know we can do it. So show them what you got, and let's make it happen. Guys, we'll see if they can do it. Thanks, Doris. And the shot counts. He's fouled. It's a chance for a three-point play. That'll put Eric Gordon on the line. That one on Thompson. Houston with a big group substitution here. Gordon no good on the free throw. The Warriors have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. And a terrific run to really put this ball game away. And now let's see how many more points they can throw up there before the horn sounds. Launches it. Number 15. McGee with the block. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Puts it up from 12. Hit his leg. And the official saying it was kicked. Houston making a switch here. Duran up top. And the pass to Curry. Feeds to Thompson. This is to Durant. Gets it to go. And the Warriors lead by 15. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win and no question. It's going to be a happy plane ride out of here. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents our player of the game, JaVale McGee. Thank <laughs> you.